I'm in the mood to be a bird of a feather. So how better than a feather headdress? I'm gonna use this opportunity to show you how to use the same feather in multiple different ways to get other great looks from one feather. Just because you have that one bag of feather languishing in the corner doesn't mean you can't have multiple interesting, beautiful looks. Here's how we're gonna do it today with John Beaton. For today's project, we're gonna be using ostrich feathers, which I had left from another project, pheasant feather tape, which I had left from another project, good felt, which is a really strong, high quality felt, which guess what? I had left over from another project, two different kinds of E6000 glue, because we'll be using them for two different ways, clamps, because I'm not holding everything, waiting for everything to dry, ostrich feathers, and some heat tools. These heat tools are designed for your hair, but like I always say, feathers and hair are the same thing. So we're gonna do some really interesting things today. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is cut out our shape with our good felt. Now, I did this with matching good felt, but if it matched, it'd be hard to see. And if it'd be hard to see, it's hard to understand. And that's why we're here. So I'm gonna do this in this blue. Cut out an oval shape that all of your feathers will be attached to, as well as your hair attachment. Now, how big that oval is depends on how big you are and how big you want this. You could have demure or you could have my size. I'm essentially gonna use a full piece of felt. So here we have our oval of felt, which is not really an oval, but that's also not really a problem because we're gonna cover this with feathers. So absolutely no big deal there. What you wanna do now is attach however it's gonna go to your hair. So whether that's a clip, whether that's a claw, whether that's a headband, attach it directly to the good felt. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start treating feathers. So this is the back. I should probably make that clear for you. That should make it clearer for you. So we're gonna be working off the back. Most of the feathers that are going to go upward will come off of the back. And that way, the front of this can be hidden with smoother feathers later. This is where you would attach however you want it to attach to your head. I'm gonna use a banana clip. Now that we have this ready, we're gonna put it to the side and we're gonna start treating our feathers. So here we have an ostrich feather that didn't make it onto another outfit. It looks a little limp and listless but we're gonna make that work for us. We're gonna turn this into a much more architectural feather with a little haircut. I've said this a million times, but feathers are just hair. So if you can do it to hair, you can do it to a feather. I want this to be much more streamlined, much more architectural. And to do that, I'm gonna get rid of the lovely little dusty parts of this feather, which tend to be what make people want ostrich feathers. The first thing you wanna do is stand it up. You wanna make sure that all the feathers are falling naturally and falling out. If you find that you have feathers that are not sitting the way you want, you do the same thing you would do when you have hair that sits a way you don't want. Use a flat iron and just give it a gentle tease. This also works really well if you've had feathers that have been in storage and are a little listless. After you've made sure all the feathers are going in the direction you want, in your mind, create a little line to where you want to trim this to. For me, I've got a natural break in the feather, just right here. It's already missing some feathers there. So I'm actually gonna trim from right there. We've got a natural break and we're gonna break. Now don't throw this out, we're gonna use this later. Right now we have a new length for this feather 
And you know what? Let's get rid of this stuff on the bottom. It's not really doing anything for the feather. Just like a haircut, pull the feathers out and give it a trip. Now, if you have a few feathers that you may have missed when you're trimming them, you can also just pluck them out. So now that we've trimmed the base of this feather, we're gonna give the body a bit of a haircut. We're gonna trim away all of this, all of those very loose and ethereal looking feathers, and we're gonna make this look much more like a soldier. So in your mind, create that little line and make sure you're holding it upright because that's exactly how they're gonna sit once they're finished. And then hold your breath and start trimming. Don't forget, you can always take more off. You can't put it back. Now, after you've made your first cut, you may find there's a few places that look a little wonky that didn't sit the way you wanted them to. And that's absolutely fine. Give the feather a shake and go back in again. I was a little wonky right here and right here and right here. Now we've created a smooth line. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side to make a feather that looks much more architectural. Well, that was the first round. And once again, I went off a few places and that's completely fine. Just go back in and clean it up. Give it a shake, see where those random feathers are that are sticking out and trim them off again. So now that we've taken care of the top and the body of the feather, the bottom doesn't look so great. So we're gonna edit down some of these feathers again. And again, make it look a bit more architectural. And there we go. A much different looking ostrich feather than we started with, but that's the point. You want these to look different. You want these to look unique. They're gonna add a lot more interest to your headdress, to your fascinator, than just all of the same. After all, if all the feathers look the same, they get tired of looking at each other.